Shalom. All praise Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Only the remnant shall receive redemption. And that remnant is the elect of the nation of Israel, those that have been predestinated to receive the Redeemer, which is Yahweh Shah. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because the Most High have from the beginning chosen you to salvation, which is Yahweh Shah. And that's the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. They have been predestinated from the beginning to receive salvation, which is to receive Yahweh Shah. And that's why we, being amongst the believers, those that the Most High have given us the gift of faith through his grace, we have the greatest hope all right, upon the planet because we hope to be a part of the elect of the nation of Israel. We hope to be a part of that small remnant. All right, those that remain. The scripture tells us he that endureth unto the end, which is the remnant, those that remain, the elect, shall be saved. And that's predestination, which is to receive Yahweh Shah. The scripture says, because the Most High hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation, that's Yahweh Shah, through sanctification, being separate, being a part of the beloved of the spirit and belief of the truth see and how do we believe through the gift of faith all right and yahweh shah is the way the truth and the life all right and we believe in this doctrine which is the truth of the matter all right although we have been given lies throughout our lives the most high still allowed that light to shine in our life lord willing we be predestinated for deliverance all right it says where unto he called you by our gospel and those that have been called all right are those that have the eyes to see and the ears to hear all right and also the gift of faith which gives us the ability to have hope which gives us the, the ability to believe all right it says to the obtaining of the glory of our lord yahweh shah hamashiach and that's that small remnant all right that's predestinated to receive Yahweh Shah. All right. Ephesians chapter one in verse three, it says, blessed be the, the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in HaMashiach. And that's this truth. Verse 4 says, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And that's that separation. All right. The scripture says, um, there was no gal found in their mouths. And that's speaking of that small remnant. All right. That small number of believers, those that remain, those that endure unto the end, which is the elect. All right, we would be considered, Lord willing, we be a part of that number. We would be considered the creme de la creme of Israel. All right, the best of Israel, which is the elect. All right, why? Because we have been separated, all right, from the foundation to receive the gift of faith, which is to receive Yahweh Shai. And that's our greatest hope, to be a part of that number. All right, that's why we give diligence to make our calling of and the election sure. All right, and we pray to be a part of that number okay verse 5 it says having predestinated us meaning having pre-known us or pre-ordained us and that's the elect lord willing we be a part of that number unto the adoption of children by yahweh shah hamashiach to himself through the bloodshed of yahweh shah being that in between being that mediator all right bringing us back into the good graces with the Most High through his bloodshed. And that's only the elect. All right. That's why we have the greatest hope upon the planet. Because we want to be a part of that small number. That the blood of Yahweh Shai covers. It says according to the good pleasure of his will. And it's the good pleasure of the Most High will. To give 
the elect to Yahweh Shai, all right? And Yahweh Shai, all right, will not lose none of the elect. John 18 and verse 9, it says, I'm going to start at verse 8. Yahweh Shai answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way. Verse 9, that the same might be fulfilled, which he spoke of them, which thou gave of me, have I lost none. That's right, and that's the elect. Yahweh Shai, all right, will come back and gather the elect, just like he gathered them the first time, all right, uh, 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 that, that he walked the earth as the Savior, all right, 2,000 and some odd years ago. Those same uh, small number, all right, of Israelites have woken up in the reincarnation, all right, and have received the gift of faith, which gives them the ability to hope, and that hope is to be a part of the predestinated ones, all right, that small remnant, okay, that shall be saved out of Israel because a small remnant, okay, is going to wake up. The rest of Israel is going to stay asleep, all right, meaning stand in darkness, being missile bait, all right, Isaiah 10 and verse 20, it says, and it shall come to pass in that day, meaning prophecy, that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. But shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. And that's what you're seeing taking place across the four winds of the earth. That remnant is returning, all right, unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, because the Most High have been merciful by giving us uh, the gift of faith which gives us the ability to believe in Yahweh Shai and have the hope of being the elect of Yahweh Shai. All right, now let's look up this word remnant in the Strong's H7605. It says, rest, residue, remnant, remainer, all right? Uh, the book of St. Matthew 24. All right, and 13, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, he that persevere unto the end through hardship, all right, shall be saved. All right, which is what? The remnant, the remainders. All right, so those that remain shall be saved. And that's the ones that are predestinated. All right, and you would consider them as what? The first fruits, okay, of the nation of Israel. James 1 and verse 18 and it says of his own will beget he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures all right and creatures mean what creations all right and we pray to be a part of the first fruits all right of his creatures meaning Yahweh Shah, all right, being uh, the only begotten son, and Yahweh Shah created uh, the first fruits, all right, to help him create the planet and everything that, that you see and everything that you don't see. And we want to be a part of that number. That's why it's special to be a part of the elect. That's why the elect, all right, Lord willing, we be a part of that number is so concerned with the earth, all right, the air, the trees, all right, the water. Because we, Lord willing, if we are part of that number, help Yahweh Shai created all these things, being the first fruits. Okay? Jeremiah 23, and verse 3, And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them. And that's right. That's why you're seeing brothers waking up across the four winds of the planet. Because the Most High is making good upon his word by bringing his elect back to the sheepfold. All right. It says, and will bring them again to their folds, 
will bring them again, all right, back to their tribes, all right, and back to the house of David, and they shall be fruitful and increase, all right? So the Most High is gathering his elect that he have scattered in his anger, all right? But now he is bringing them back because the time is at hand for the Redeemer to come back, all right, and give them redemption, okay, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. Romans chapter 9 and verse 26, it says, And it shall come to pass, which is prophecy, that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, all right, and where is that place? Here in America. We have been called all types of bywords and proverbs, all right, but not the children of the Most High, all right? We have been called uh, so-called Negroes, all right, uh, um, African Americans, all right, niggers, spicks, Uncle Tomahawks, wetbacks, all right? We have been called everything except for Israelites, all right, which is uh, he a prince of the power, all right? And this is that place, America, all right? It says, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. Verse 27, it says, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. That's right. Israelites are everywhere. All right, scattered across the globe, but only the remnant of Israel, all right, shall be saved. All right, let's read that again. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, all right, a, a, a number that you can't count, a remnant, which is a small number, all right, the, the small number of believers, a remnant shall be saved. And these are the only ones that's going to receive Redemption, which is receiving Yahweh Shai, all right, which is the remnant, and that would be the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, because they have been elected from the foundation of the world, all right, to receive salvation, all right. They have been given the Most High's name in their forehead. That's why they can receive the name Yahweh Shai, all right, because the elect is dear. To the Most High. That's why he gave the elect to uh, Yahweh Shah. Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, which is Yahweh Shah. And with him, an hundred forty and four thousand, which is that small remnant out of the nation of Israel. The elect of the nation of Israel. Having their fathers, all right, having his father's name written in their forehead. That's right. And Yahweh Shah's father is Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, all right? And we have been predestinated, Lord willing, if we are part of that number, to be saved, all right, through through those names, man, all right? Our prayer mind have been stirred up by the way of remembrance, okay? And that's to come back to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh Shai, and know the task at hand, all right? And the task at hand is to prophesy against Mount Seir, which is America, and also to believe, all right, so those that are amongst the prophets prophesy, and those that are amongst the believers believe. All right, and that's that's our hope. Okay, due to the gift of faith, is to be a part of that remnant because that remnant, once again, is going to receive salvation here in these times of total destruction. Second Thessalonians four, and I'm gonna start at the 16th verse. It says, "For the Lord Himself." shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. All right? And that's who? Those that have died for the names Yahweh Yahweh Shah. They have died for truth's sake. All right? Going back to, to Stephen or Stephen all the way down to High Priest Rabbi Ava Bivens. All right? And our Lord Yahweh Shah is what? Going to descend from heaven with a great shout. All right, and what is that great shout going to be? Revelation 18 
and verse 4 and i heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people and that her is america all right and his people are the elect of the nation of israel because remember only the remnant shall be saved all right and the rest of israel which is two-thirds of the nation of israel going to be destroyed on this side it says come out of her my people and that her is america that ye be not partakers of her, her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues and what's that the intercontinental ballistic missiles 200 million of them totally destroying america but the elect the remnant is going to be saved out of that all right first thessalonians 4 and 16 again for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and we just read in revelation 18 what that shout was about with the voice of of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in hamashiach shall rise first and we just learned who is the dead in the Mashiach, those that are asleep, all right, in, in Hamashiach. It says, then we, all right, and here's the point, then we, who is that we, which are alive and remain, who is those that remain? The remnant, all right, that small number of believers, all right, he that endureth unto the end, okay, shall be saved. And this is the, the, the instance where the elect is going to be saved out of this total destruction of America, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. So the elect is going to be caught up together with them that shall be raised up first, which is those that have died for truth's sake in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, all right? It says, to meet the Lord in the air, and we're going to be raised up with them to meet the Lord in the air, all right? And so shall we ever be with the lord all right so this, this is going to be a perpetual uh, uh kingdom an everlasting kingdom all right that we are going to receive lord willing we be a part of the the elect on the first round because the rest of the nation of israel is going to come through the elect all right but the elect is going to be saved on the first round all right because we was chosen to receive the redeemer from the beginning of the foundation of the earth and to be the governed body of the kingdom all right, and Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Verse 18, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And those that believe, all right, Lord willing, I pray that these words was comforting unto you, all right, because we, if we be a part of that elect, those that believe, that small number, we shall be saved. We, we shall be a part of that remnant that, that shall receive the Redeemer. Call Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwidash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone peace and blessings to the hopefully elect shalom dta wa ababa